Good afternoon, teachers, parents and students. I, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land which we meet today. I would also like to pay my respects to our elders past, present and emerging. Learner of the Week towards Miss Howard. The Learner of the Week in JH this week goes to someone that's had a terrific week in maths comparing numbers. He's used our crocodile mouse to explain numbers that are bigger and smaller and more or less and it goes to Harrison Pride. Well done Harrison. The learner of the week in JL this week is going to someone who's had an awesome week with her reading. She did a great job during independent reading to build her reading stamina and she found some great punctuation in her stories and that's Lenny Rigby. Learner of the week this week in JN goes to Aiden Ham. His reading has improved so much and I'm so proud of him so well done Aiden. The winner in JC this week goes to Sonna De Palma for amazing work, especially the work that he's doing with his reading at the moment and also the amazing writing that he's been coming up with. Keep up the great work, buddy. Well done. In the Grade 2 area over the past two weeks, we've been working on fractions in math. So the learner of the, of the week this week goes to somebody who has really impressed me with their fraction knowledge. Well done to Jack. The learner of the week in MPS this week is Ethan Bartlett for always trying to help others, especially in maths and being a really good leader. Well done, Ethan. Okay, so my learner of the week in MTC goes to Braden Walsh for his fantastic start to term three, commitment to his learning and his brilliant contributions to our mathematical conversations. Great job, Braden. Hi everyone, this week's learner in MSW goes to Xander Telford. He has made some excellent contributions to our class recount and I love the ideas that he has had beaming out of his mind. So well done Xander on such a fantastic week. Good afternoon everyone. The learner of the week for SH goes to Chloe Preston and Chloe receives this award for persisting with percentages in maths this week. Great effort, Chloe. Congratulations. Okay, the Learner of the Week in SDW goes to Finn Morrissey. Finn has been doing some fantastic work in both uh, his writing and his maths. He's written a fantastic persuasive essay and he's managed to uh, have a great understanding of percentages this week. So well done, Finn. Learner of the Week in SV this week goes to Alice Powell for being a wonderful mathematician and working really hard on percentages and we're using 50% to work out 25%. Well done, Alice. Congratulations to all our award winners and uh, thank you, Alice, for her lovely introduction. Um, boys and girls, we've had a, a really good week this week. Really impressed and you may have noticed in the newsletter I spoke a little bit about um, some of the learning that people have been doing in the classroom and um, a real focus of ours has been the children and how how they're reading in the reading session and just being and just staying on task and really focusing on that and this week when I was in and around the classrooms I was really impressed with the way our children were concentrating on that reading and really focused on that learning intention and what they were trying to achieve in the in the reading time so well done on that keep on um, continuing with that really good reading not only at school but also at home um, get a chance to show your mums and dads how good you are at at reading. Um, I know a number of children are really starting to improve and uh, and there's some great results happening there. So well done to everyone and well done to our teachers on, on setting that really calm, quiet, lovely learning environment that we, we really like at Kyala West. Uh, boys and girls, last week we had Sports Startup and well done to all of our parents for ab abiding by the new um, COVID-19 restrictions around access to the sporting areas. Um, also well done to all of our children who were involved in, in the different sports. I heard some really good feedback around the, the way they were encouraging each other and just out there having a good time. So well done and keep up the good work there. Uh, also this week we had our school photos. Um, I know a number of people got all their forms in. If people still need to um, get photos, they may order their photos online. Um, you can do an online order um, if the parents haven't got their um, orders already handed in. So um, that can be done as well. All right, uh, now the terrific kid this week, boys and girls. Someone who is doing really well at school, someone who's concentrating really hard in that reading time and their improvement just shows every, every week they're getting better and better at their reading and everything. 
Um, and also this person is a lovely person and very kind towards others and a really um, good person at including others in, in games and, and treating people with respect. And, uh, and that goes to Cruz Heel. Well done, Cruz. All right. Um, I think that's all of our messages. We will all get ready for our national anthem and we'll get everybody to stand up. That's the way. All right, and nice singing voices. We'll sing all together, ready? One, two, three. Australians, all let us rejoice, for we are young and free. We've golden soil and wealth for toil. Our home is girt by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty, rich and rare. In history's page, let every sage advance Australia's fair. In joyful strains, then let us sing advance Australia fair. Well done, everybody. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.